Hi, I'm Heather from Going Batty, and today my mom and I are going to work on making curtains for our trailer Lois. And um, we're making them out of bed sheets. What we're doing right now is we're measuring the length that our um, that our curtain needs to be. So mom is doing that and I have down here, if you see that little white right there, that's my, where I've marked it. So it has to be what, 22? 22, 22 and a half. 22 and a half inches. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark this and then we'll just cut it and then we're gonna hem it up. But this is just a bed sheet. And what we did is at the top here, like I don't know if you could see, there's a seam right here. This is the top of the fitted sheet and we're gonna use this as the pocket for the curtain rod. Now we have to measure, because we have to put a pocket in the top. We had to add four inches to it for the pocket in the top and so now we're measuring down to 26, 26 inches. So hopefully we did our math right <laughs> and it, we don't have curtains that are one longer than the other, but we'll see. All right, Kevin and Miles are going to fit our curtains on to see if they fit right. Let's see. That's real good. So that are, that are, that's not correct grammar. Those are <laughs> our curtains for the front. So now I'm gonna make some for this window here and this window here. So for right now, really those are like the, the two. I like the contrast of that blue, babe. Yeah, the blue with the white. Yeah, I and really think that's sharp. The other thing I'm gonna to try to get to today is I'm gonna to try to make some throw pillows to kind of go on here to give it a little more color than just blue and white. We are now putting in the second curtain. Make it work. We're gonna have to twist it out. We have tension rods on these so it'll make it easier to get them kind of in and out. And they're they're dark enough to keep people from seeing in, but not so dark that it blocks out like all of the light. Oh I like that. You like that? Yeah I like that a lot. Okay. Alright, Kevin's putting in the last last curtain. The last curtain for now. For now. We've got other yeah. curtains. I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. Yeah, so that you can push it open and closed. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah, that looks great. Alrighty. Super. Super duper. Yep. So we got curtains there and there and there now. And during the evening, we'll just pull them closed. Um, I think now we're not going to do any like right here at the sink because those will just get gross with this grease from the stove and anything that splatters up from the sink. We're just going to leave that window as it is. And then, excuse me, honey. Let me get out of your way. And then we'll do another one here, but I have to get another sheet set to do this one. And then what we're actually going to wind up doing is we're going to use the pillowcases for these little windows back here. So that way everyone has a little bit of privacy. Obviously these curtains aren't blackout curtains, but we don't need them to be blackout curtains. We just need a little bit of privacy so we can get some sleep and so we can change our clothes. Yep. All right, for my next project that I'm doing, I am making throw pillows to go in the camper. And what I'm using actually is tea towels here. Um, these are Pioneer Woman tea towels. And if you go to Walmart and you look for like the stuffing for the pillows, um, it's actually less expensive to buy a pillow than it is to buy the stuffing. So I just got a pillow. 
All right, so um, if you hear banging in the background, we're having our bathroom worked on, so I'm gonna have to talk over that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm taking my towel right here and I'm folding it inside out, and then I'm just gonna stitch a seam down the edge here and down the edge on this side. And then we'll leave this end open so that we can fill it with the stuff. The stuff, the stuffing, the fluff. With the pillow fluff. <laughs> Whatever it is. So I stitched the edges here and then I stuffed it with the, the stuffing. And then I just stitched along the edge here. I'm gonna have to hand sew this. Um, it's too thick to go into the sewing machine. So we're gonna just hand stitch that, but that is my, my little throw pillow right there. Right, so I decided to keep this decorative edge on here. I just thought that was really cute. So uh, we're gonna take these and we're gonna go put them down in our uh, camper. All right, so there are my little throw pillows. Um, what I'm probably gonna do, <coughs> excuse me, is I'm going to, I have three of them there. I'm gonna put three of them there. And then I'm probably, I might do another three here. So that way, I've got something cute in here, something where it kind of breaks up some of the, just the white and blue, and it has some other colors in it. All right, I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. Uh, this idea for these pillows, they came from Olivia's Romantic Home here on YouTube. She, like, if you are a crafter and you are into like, just all sorts of crafty things, she has some amazing ideas. Like I have just found her recently, and like she just does some really beautiful stuff with decoupaging and making wreaths and you know doing pillows like these. I'll link the video where she made these kind of pillows. Now she did hers for patio furniture and she actually used hot glue to make hers. So um, so the, that is my adventures in making curtains and making pillows. So make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, leave your comments down below and more updates as we go. Bye.